Hey guys, hope you're all well. Today I filmed my first attempt at doing pink curls uh, using my GHDs and the curl pins that you can get. I got mine from Superdrug, just a little pack of 10. But I will put all of the um, product and tool info that I used in the down bar. So I wanted to just try and do something with a centre part that was a bit more um, like a blowout, big, bouncy, like Kate Middleton curls, like quite classic, glamorous, um, without using rollers, because I don't have them, and buying the pin curls are a lot cheaper, um, and just using your straighteners. So I hope you like my first attempt. Let me know what you think. Um, it must be quite easy if I can do it first, go and film it. So um, I hope you guys enjoy it. Yeah, if you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe and write a comment and give me a thumbs up and I'll see you on my next one. Bye guys. Hi guys, first of all, you're gonna start off with towel dried hair and then take your Unite Hair 77 seconds conditioner and run it through the bottom section of your hair. Then take the Bumble and Bumble sea salt spray and spritz it throughout. And then you want to finish off drying your towel dry hair with your hair dryer. I just use my Tresemme. Then section your hair just above the ears using a butterfly clip and give it a good old brush through. Then take your straighteners. I'm using my GHDs and you just want to pull the hair. You want to tightly twist 180 degrees in an underneath sort of motion and then glide the hair through the straightener. You want to do the twist right at the top so you get body at the root of your hair and make sure you pull it down right to the tip so you get the nice bounce on the ends. And then curl your hair underneath using your fingers and pin it into place using the pin curls. The tighter you curl it around the fingers, the tighter and bouncier curl you'll get once it's set. And just again I'm just showing you again just twist it around your fingers and then pin it into place it's a bit tricky around the ear but um, try and make sure that the pin curl is secure because you don't want it to fall out in the setting sort of time and so I repeated it throughout now with the top section what you want to do is you want to I just tease it slightly using a teasing brush I just do three little teasers at the root but with the top middle section of your hair instead of tucking the curl under you want to tuck it backwards and this way it will part easily when it's once it's set and you take your hair out but also it means that it it will just bounce up high it won't lay um, flat um, and it's just a nicer way to do it you do it like this when you're using um, uh, all different curling methods just pin it up into place and then once you've pinned all your hair you want to just spritz it with a, a light mist hairspray so I'm just using the Elnet satin it's not too much hold but it just helps to set the hair in that position because you don't want the crunchy bits to be underneath and then play the waiting game so I'm just going to wait for about 20 to 30 minutes and let the hair set and cool and then here's me taking it out and you can see that it gives you a nice bouncy ringletty curl but it's not, um, it doesn't have those ridges in it that you can sometimes get with straighteners and it's a lot, I found it a lot quicker and easier than using the foam rollers. And then you just want to you know, play around with it, twist certain sections, um, maybe rub your roots so that it's nice and um, uniform put the nice face framing bits away from the face and then set it with your hairspray. Hi guys, thanks for watching my pin curl tutorial. I hope you found it easy to follow and um, definitely let me know if you give pin curls a whirl and I'll see you on my next one. Bye. I love it.